What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. You ever just wonder how one of your favorite decks is going to do in expanded format? Well, I found myself wondering that today with Rayquaza GX. So we are just going to be playing straight up Rayquaza GX, no Vega Volt, none of that, just in expanded format. See how we do. I actually just tried to roll a game, and I started all four Rayquaza GXs in a Sycamore, and uh, no energy, so I just, like... <laughs> I was playing against a Toad deck. So I just slammed them all down, hoping that I would mill energy, and then I milled none, and it was horrible, so I scooped, and I decided that we were going to try again. I uh, also think that I could have... I also, like, milled my Latias. I was like, this this is done. My opponent started lasering and hammering me, and I was like, we're, we're going to roll it again. Give it another shot. But I think expanded format is actually looking like it's going to be kind of fun, I think. Uh, it's also going to be, you know, just... Uh, pretty significant with all of the changes that are coming about to the ban list and all that just with puzzles being gone hex being gone should be a pretty interesting format not going to lie so i'm actually kind of excited about it and let's see i think i'm just gonna rip here yeah since i got the max elixir in hand we just yep got one good and we just go for it see what we can get got another grass there good and yeah so i think that expanded should be interesting i think that you know, I mean, this deck seems pretty good. You got a bunch of different options here for things that you can do. We got ourselves a pseudo Wudo. That's cool. I don't know if I'll end up needing him. So I think that we're just going to pass with this hand. Not really too much else that I want. So we're going to pass with this hand, see what my opponent's got going on. I got Floatstone. I got Sycamore. I've got things I can do. My opponent starts with a couple of Remorods. Remoraid. Don't really know what my... <laughs> I've seen a lot of people actually playing this Remoraid as well, even though it doesn't really have uh, the... You know, it doesn't have either of the attacks. I just think that, you know, most people have probably conceded that they've never actually really used Remoraid's attack, so they just play the one with the artwork that they like better, so I can respect that. But this Rayquaza deck, I pretty much just threw a computer search in here, a couple copies of Colrus and called it a day. So that's kind of what we got going on here. Uh, and that's fine. I mean, honestly, where else do you start when you're testing for expanded format? I think you kind of just start, you know, testing things. And that's what I did for Buzzrock last year, more or less, just like threw a couple copies of Colrus and Buzzrock and just wanted to see if the deck could hang. I decided it could hang. And Buzzrock ended up being like really silly good in expanded format and you know so i'm trying to see i don't know you think that can rayquaza be good as well not really sure uh but it definitely has potential right and there's something about i don't actually know there's something about the uh this rayquaza list it just feels less exciting than the uh than vico ray you know going back and actually playing i think i'm just gonna give him this guy yeah Going back and playing this kind of old version, it's considered kind of old now, right? It doesn't have Vikavolt in it, uh, you know, just feels suboptimal. Now, granted, I am not playing Versus Seeker in this list. Now, that's something I tried with Buzzrock last year. I didn't play Versus Seeker, and it ended up working out. You didn't need Versus Seeker in Buzzrock. You just wanted to draw cards and be aggressive. I think you probably want to play Versus Seeker in this list. Oh, boy, my opponent has figured out how to foil me completely. They're playing Pacifian with Focus Pants. Oh, boy, isn't Expanded just so much fun? But, yeah, I'm not playing Field Blower either. This list is pretty greedy. You probably want to play some Versus Seekers in your Quaza list, especially since you're going to be discarding things so often. Uh, you probably also want to play, like, Battle Compressor. You probably just play that engine now that I'm thinking about it. But, you know, I don't know. Seismitoad is a thing. Also, Trevenant is still a thing. Even though Wally was banned, Trevenant still has the potential to be, like, really good. So that could be troubling, right? And I think if you're playing against, like, Trevenant and Toad decks, then you're really not going to want that extra, you know, you're not going to want that extra stuff going on there. So since my opponent is playing Passimian, we're definitely going to get myself the, uh, yeah, we're going to get that pseudo Wudo. We're going to just, yeah, put him down for sure. Try to limit what my opponent has got going on here. And then let's also parallel them. Yeah. And I think that I could, yeah, I just want to knock out the active, to be honest. This just seems like the best. Should not, actually, I should have attached that lightning energy to my, my dude here with the, uh, you know, without the float stone, but that's fine. This is kind of just what we got going on here. 
But yeah, Vikavol is just so exciting. This this version of Rayquaza feels very elementary. It feels very kind of archaic now. I'm just manually attaching energy. Don't have too much else going on. Uh, and this, uh, I'm not going to lie, my opponent's Passimian deck could get a little scary here, considering that uh, they have these focus bands that I cannot get rid of. I could go up and poke it with Dreamy Mist first, right? Like, I can kind of poke everybody with Dreamy Mist. We can make things happen that way. Why is my opponent attaching DCE and a counter energy? I'm pretty sure at this point the counter energy would have had that covered. Is that, yeah, the counter energy definitely would have had the attack cost covered, uh, considering that they are already, you know, losing the prize game. But, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to ask any questions. So let's go, and uh, at this point, we're probably just going to Guzma and knock out something on my opponent's bench. That feels fine. Uh, I'm just going to knock that thing out. So we're just going to we're just going to go here. I don't really feel like two hit KOing that thing. So we're just going to take a couple more prizes, get him off his sledgehammer turn at least. Like I don't want him to just be on his sledgehammer turn again, and maybe realize that he could sledgehammer me for a decent amount. So we're going to get him down to three prizes. We've got our other Rayquaza, so that's pretty cool. We're looking at eventually here wanting to retreat and poke this thing with Dreamy Mist. And even if we do a hard retreat, that's fine because we'll just accelerate our energy right back into play with Dreamy Mist. So I think ideally, and I have all four Guzma in the discard pile, so that's actually pretty bad. Now we're like really, really kind of salty that we're not playing. And I had field blowers in this list too, and I just like ripped them out. I was like, I don't need those. I'll play Parallel City instead. Um, but yeah, now I'm feeling kind of salty that I did that. So <laughs> it's fine. I, th I suspect that we'll still just be totally fine. I don't think that, you know, even the lack of Guzma will be able to stop me from losing this game. I think we'll probably just be able to tear through these Passimians just with, uh, you know, just with uh, firepower alone. But we'll see here. So I think I'm going to get myself an energy and kind of just poke it with that Dreamy Mist there and then go from there just to kind of get this thing out of the active position relocate some of this energy i love computer search just such an amazing card and that's probably one of my favorite parts about playing expanded format let's see here you know what i don't even think that we're ready for a lot of us yet i think we just like we just drag and break these things honestly we just kind of like plug away that's fine how did you end up getting knocked out it didn't get knocked out i was gonna say he got saved right yes he gets knocked out the focus sash saves him that's fine. I think I'll try to just like knock out these things and then maybe go through with Dreamy Mist later and clean up, you know, after we get knocked out. That's that's totally appropriate. At this point, you know, I'm just, I don't really think that anything can go wrong. Now, Passimian with Shrine of Punishment, that is a scary deck. I'll tell you what, that deck is a deck that I played against a number of times. Played against it at the World Championships. Also played against it at, uh, oh, at... Uh, at Philly at the Oaks Pennsylvania Regional Championships played against it there as well and that was pretty frightening that was pretty cool I liked the Tapu Koko counter energy shrine thing all of that going on can add up to a pretty formidable deck but uh, I don't know if straight Passimian really has the juice to really make it happen and expand it though you should do just absolutely fantastic against any sort of like Rayquaza, or not Rayquaza, any sort of uh, Zorark deck, that's for sure. Should probably be able to hang with that. But that being said, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, it makes me nervous playing a deck that just needs all its bench space in expanded format uh, because there's just so many pseudo wudos parallels, all that. Everybody knows how good Zorark is. That's no secret. So let's get ourselves an energy. I play like a lot of copies of, I play a lot of copies of, uh, what is it? Rescue Stretcher, right? So I'm like not super concerned about getting my Rayquazas back. Like that probably should just be okay. So we'll go on the Pseudo Wudo for the Flowstone. Then we're just going to Colrus here. Get some other things out. We got ourselves another Ray. That's good. I can mill. So we'll do that. And this is going to be a pretty explosive turn for me. So that's great. Just throw that into play there. I think that I should have, let's see, my Ray is in the discard pile. Yes, I don't have my other Ray, um, unfortunately, but that's fine. We can just max Elixir as well. We whiffed it. No, it's fine. We're just going to go accelerate onto our uh, onto our dudes here with Dreamy Mist and take a knockout. So we should be okay. I could have put that, um, let's see, 
We actually want the two lightnings. I could have put that Fury Belt onto something, but I don't know. My opponent plays Field Blower. I don't really want to just... Oh, gosh, I messed up. That's fine. I got a lightning in hand. So I meant to put the lightning on that one there on the end, but we're all good. You're not really going to have to pay for that at all. My opponent should come up with this one. Yeah, Power Huddle here, Mr. Uh, Rock Hurl. He's got a DCE on this guy, but he's not really going to be attacking. So I think that that... Probably is not exactly where he wants the DCE to be. Probably wants the DCE to be on this guy. That being said, the DCE will allow him to retreat. That's probably what he's going for. Is this, you know, he used special charge, got a couple energies back into the deck, and is going to try and grab one with that underground expedition, slap it onto this Passimian here, and then maybe do some damage. But my pseudo Wudo is putting in work here since the opponent does have the Magirna and the Buzzwole in play. That means that they can't have a full situation going on with four Passimian in play. And that's really what they want, is they want to have the four Passimian in play. Let's see, what tool are we getting here? They're taking the change in clothes here. They're going to take the Focus Band. What is it? Fury Band? Focus Band? Focus Band? They're called Focus Bands. I'm going to take the Focus Band off. Uh, focus Sash, that's right. Focus Band is from the Neo format. That's what I typically play. So uh, I do really like the Focus Band. I hate, actually, I don't know why I'm saying like. I hate the card Focus Band in the Neo format. It is just so degenerate. It doesn't matter if you have full health or anything. It can be on any type of Pokemon, and it prevents one-hit KOs. So that is kind of... Uh, Definitely a frustrating card being reincarnated here with that Focus Sash working on fighting Pokemon, though it just seems a lot more fair. My opponent is going to go for the Fling. Uh, they're going to opt to do 30 to one of my bench rays. That's fine. I am just going to continue to poke away, I think. Uh, that or I could, you know, actually, I think I just destroy the, uh, you know, I think I just destroy this thing while I'm up here. Honestly, like, I, because by actually hitting into it, I get the focus sash out of there. And I don't want them, like, moving the so the focus sash to, like, other things. I just want to just be completely aggressive and just kind of do as much damage as I can and try to get rid of all these focus sashes by blowing them up, honestly. That's kind of what we're going for here. Now, I guess it could be kind of scary. My opponent's not taking a knockout here. Like, they... They are just short. They're not doing enough damage. 120 is not going to cut it. So, yeah, I should just be completely fine here to go again. Just, like, retreat uh, into Latias. Um, and they're going to scoop it up. They know they ain't got it like that, so that's fine. We are going to try another one here. Expanded format. Rayquaza. See what we can do. See if we can play against a different kind of deck. I tell you, the last deck I played against was just this completely degenerate toad deck and just seemed horrible. Had Burbanks and lasers and hammers and all that fun expanded stuff. But I really like just seeing if like, I expanded is just so fun in a way because you can just play all your favorite cards. You know, everything from black and white on is fair game in expanded format. You just give it a shot. You're like, I don't even know what the meta is. The meta is like too big almost. No trash Alanche is like really good in expanded format, so that's something to look out for. You know, Drampa Garb, Espeon Garb are kind of big decks. Um, also, just uh, well, just uh, and Dimension Valley is also really cool with cards like Necrozma, Buzzrock's really good, Trevenant's really good. Uh, you know, people are talking about Archie's Blastoise being really good as well. I don't see how a deck like this could keep up with like a turn one 180 from a uh, Caldeo. Ooh, we should do that. We should play some Archie's Blastoise. Maybe I'll maybe I'll like load that up, and we can play some expanded Archie's Blastoise. Play a couple games of that. But I know a lot of people are talking about just being tired of like the current standard format, and I can't blame them. I'm like really looking forward to Lost March coming out. I think the Lost March deck. I can't wait to start doing videos on it. I think that deck's going to be completely insane. Uh, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So let's start off here with, I think we just go for a ray. Yeah, let's just do that. So we're going to get ourselves a ray here. And then we're going to see what we end up discarding. I see I could get myself all the Latias and then, uh, and then get an Ultra Ball for a ray. But I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any, like, draw support right now. So we might actually be going for, like, a Lele with that Ultra Ball. Don't actually know. Unless we hit something off of the Ray. That was my thought. So we're going to do this first. We're going to see if we discard any poke. <laughs> Why? 
Uh, we're gonna see if we discard any Poke. Uh, there goes the Latias, yes, right? So like, can't rescue Stretcher for him, but that's fine. I can rescue Stretcher for another Rayback, so we'll probably just do that. Let's get a Pokemon from the discard pile. Sure, we'll get that other Ray, and then let's also Ultra Ball. I think I just want to get myself. Uh, I feel like. Yeah, let's get rid of the Guzma and the Fury Belt. I'm going to let loose. I'm always like kind of greedy when it comes to turn one let loose. I just I prefer it. I don't know. It's fun. You need to limit your opponent. Oh, yeah, we just went for it. Nothing in the discard, and we got two energy. Let's go. So we can let loose for four. If we get a supporter off the four, which we always do, busted draws, honestly. And then we could just max elixir. I'm going to end up computer searching here for a Sycamore. So let's go get that Sycamore. And we could see just how quick we can kind of like turn up from hands like this, right? We're eliminating my opponent turn one. It's fantastic. We got ourselves some energy in play and we got to draw a ton of cards. Like we just got to see a insane amount of cards on the first turn of the game. Let's try to see if we can hit another max elixir here. No, at this point, yeah, we ain't, we ain't got it like that. That's fine. And we do get to attach for turn. So we're ending turn one pretty good here. Like we could have been better. I mean, I kind of got myself into a little bit of a dead hand here. And I'm there are like a lot, a lot, a lot of cards you can play in this Rayquaza deck in Expanded that we're like not even utilizing right now. Like you can play, you could play a Shaman EX, right? Like you could play... Um, what are they doing here? Team score. Oh my gosh, they're discard. <laughs> oh, and now I'm feeling pretty silly, right? Uh, so they uh, were able. They're playing Talonflame Guardy, by the way. So that is pretty nuts. But we do get to Tempest. That's fine. Uh, I'm not super concerned about that. We still got the Floatstone. We've got some Fury Belts. We'll just go Tempest next turn. They do get to stack their hand, but. Yeah, it's actually, I could just knock this thing out. We know that they went and got themselves probably Rare Candy Guardy. I probably have an energy in hand as well. So, what do you think? We think we just go in and hope for the best? Uh, or do we Tempest? Ugh. Tempest feels bad knowing you're just going to probably get knocked out. So, let's just uh, let's just go in and just, yeah, let's just let's just hope. We're just gonna hope that my opponent ain't got it like that. So let's uh, let's just dragon break and see. I mean, they might have gotten themselves just like rare candy, you know, guardy, and have like another energy. If they do, I mean, we're just losing this game if that's the situation. Like I could have tempest there, but tempest would have just felt so bad if I tempest and then my opponent evolves into guardy and knocks me out. But they do just knock me out here. They do a perfect 3, 6, 9, 12. They do like 240, which is enough. So they just need a fairy energy off to Cynthia here. They got themselves rare candy guardy Cynthia. Do they have it? A fairy energy ends me. But they might not. I mean, the guardy, they, they don't have it yet. Oh, no, they got it. Oh, God. It's horrible. They got a fairy and a DC. So this is uh, this is just going to be sad. Yeah, our Latias is gone. There's no chance of winning this game, guys. That's just it. So... We are just out here getting bullied around by this Guardy deck. I think we're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna pass it. Yep. You know what? Good game. You got it. Well played. Well played, sir. You you got me. So we're out of this one. We're gonna try one more here with the expanded Ray list and see how we do. I don't know that Ray is particularly good and expanded. I just kind of felt like rolling some games with it just to see how it went it's fun uh, i got a couple months i think i'm going to the anaheim regional championship so i do have a few months to kind of figure out expanded format uh you know before we end up there there's going to be a brand new set dropped in the middle of it uh what lost thunder or whatever that set seems pretty cool and like i was saying uh lost march just seems like the most hyped deck uh ever i'm just really excited about that and I'm sure it'll be, you know, pretty dope. Just like, uh, you know, Night March was pretty insane. Lost March may or may not be, you know, as influential of a deck as Night March. But it does bring a lot of new kind of interesting things to the table. Like, uh, we have a non-GX deck that can one-hit KO uh, Pokemon GX, right? And doesn't play Shrine. We currently don't really have that in standard format. So that is going to be a big deal coming into standard format you know the current non-gx decks are pretty much all shrine decks or you have like your empoleon you know deck which is like uh kind of very fringe and has some setup issues the lost march deck seems very 
Uh, quick, <laughs> it looks like we're playing against Durant, bro. We are playing against a mill deck, and I am playing uh, the the ultimate mill, uh, you know, deck. I'm playing a deck that mills itself, and sure enough, I am playing against a mill deck. So, very good, very good. Let's see here. We're going to want to start off probably with a Rayquaza and a Marshadow. I want to just, like, limit my opponent early. So, let's go computer searching here. We're going to get ourselves those into the discard pile. Let's get ourselves a ray. And then maybe, I mean, I think that we just try to get as many energy into play as possible. And we don't want to mill our, um, actually don't want that Fury Belt at all. Uh, I think we're going to get our Marshadow here. And I think that we don't want to mill our Latios. The Latios is like potentially good. So that's fine. We got that. We've got that, we've got that, and we just hope that my opponent does not draw anything off of this Marshadow, and then I could do a real quick, just like run them over. That's kind of like what I think that we got going on here. Uh, let's see, we've got ourselves another Ray. I could go get my second Lele if it's in deck. I'm not actually sure if it's in deck, so let's, let's just go check real quick. Yes, it is, very good. Okay, so we're gonna go get a Lele. We're gonna play like a real turn one supporter. So let's do that. I can also see mill this other Ray here just to get enough energy into play. Um, actually misplayed that. Should have Lele'd for the Sycamore first. That was uh, rough because I just milled like two Sycamores, bro. So that was bad. It's fine. Uh, you know, Sycamores are gone. You know, could have been could have been worse, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and Sycamore here. I think that we just want to try and apply some pressure. That's what we're trying to do. So see what my opponent's got in store for me next turn. Hopefully they don't, you know, if they get like four Durants out and just start using Devour, like it's over, bro. Trick Shovel? Oh my gosh. Uh, look at the top player card of either player's deck. You may discard that card to return it. They're definitely just going to mill my top deck probably. Yeah, I think... Ooh, I just need to get myself. I don't have a float stone either, and I don't have a max elixir. I have no way of getting this Lele out of the active position and attacking. So all I have is like Tempest. I need them to bench something else. Uh, oh, there was a Sycamore on top of my deck. So now I have all four Sycamores in the discard pile. But the real question is how well did they draw off of the. Oh, they drew fine. They've got a Cynthia. They're good to go. They don't even care. Uh, they're just, they got Muse, they got Durant's, they're good to go. They do not get to Devour, though. And we got the Float Stone, so that is a big deal. We're going to save our Guzma and our Float Stone. We're just going to go in here. Uh, we're going to save our Guzma, yes, not our Float Stone. So we're just going to go in here, and we're just going to start attacking. And we're going to hope that we just, you know, get my opponent out of here with these Devours before they can <laughs> start milling. Because they could mill like four cards a turn. If they trick shovel as well, they can mill like five cards a turn. Could just get really stressful really quick. This is a crazy deck. Durant was just like a big deal. I think in like 2013, 2014. When was this card printed? It says 2000. Uh, I can't read it there. It doesn't say. Uh, well, it does say. I just I think that maybe the quality of my game is not high enough that I cannot see. But I think it might be like 2014. I want to look it up. What set is this? Noble Victories? If it's Noble Victories, then that is... It is Noble Victories. Okay, then that means it was printed in like 2012. Because uh, that's when I started the game. It's actually my first... They have missed energy both supporters. Oh, so sad. Oh, so, so sad. That's fine. I think that... I've got Rescue Stretchers. I don't need it at this point. At this point, I think I just save the Guzma in case my opponent tries to, like, stall me out. Uh, in case they try to bring up something that's got, like, a lot of retreat, I just try to hang on for dear life here. And we're just trying to take six prizes. And we should be able to. Like, I think, I mean, granted, if they do mill five cards a turn, they could uh, turn this thing around pretty quick. But I do have N in my deck, too, so I can... So long as I'm just not really playing cards from my hand, kind of trying to amass them, I can like probably end my hand back in too, which could be helpful. But I think the early Mars Shadow was pretty key in slowing my opponent down here and making sure that they were not able to just devour through all of my resources because uh, this is a this is a deck that does not like to be milled. What in the world are they sycamoring there? Oh, they had a horrible hand. They just had like flare grunts. They had, uh, 
they had Gladian, they had Enhanced Hammers, nothing that was going to be doing them any good. They were like, I need to be using Devour and a Countercatcher, right? This is what they wanted. They wanted Devour, Countercatcher. And they're going to try Mill 3. That's fine. I've prepared for this with a Guzma. So I could just do that. I could just retreat the Lele as well, but I feel like I probably just, uh, yeah, let's just Guzma one of these guys. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put this guy out into the active. I want to save my energy just in case we like really get into a tight situation where I need to retreat or if my opponent like flare grunts crushing. I don't think they play crushing hammers at this point, but if they like flare grunt me, we don't want to deal with that. They could also they could mill more than four cards a turn if they like devour trick shovel and double heads <laughs> team rockets handiwork then they are going to be doing an absurd amount of damage to my deck. But they just went ahead and scooped it up. They want no smoke with my raid deck. We, we got in there way too aggressive for them to be able to handle. So that's, uh, what, three games so far <laughs> with the raid deck in expanded format. Anyways, that was some fun. So let me know what expanded decks do you guys want to see. I'll show you the list I was playing with real quick, though. I This is, I just whipped it up, so don't take it too seriously. Like, I just threw a computer search and a pseudo wudo in here for real and some and some culverses. Uh, there are a lot of different cool things you can play in Rayquaza in expanded format to make it work. Um, I think that this is just fun just to get out there and really just wanted to kind of see what people would throw at me with some expanded games. So thank you all for watching the video. Let me know what expanded decks do you guys want to see. Make sure to like the video, sub the channel, ring that bell. Make sure to check out the Etsy store and the Patreon stuff in the description below. Peace.